That's the door of the door of the door of the dog. Wild Steve Nash is a full name of the dog. It's five years old and it's their first time competing in Crofts Hill Winter Music. So I think a few nerves will be there. The, the music they're using is read all about it. And it's Amelia Sunday is the artist. And I know he was so, so nervous. It's his first time, and he's a really nice guy. So I felt for him. He must have been uh, shaking like a leaf when he went in there. But a great first time across and a great routine. You heard earlier he's 25 years. I don't think uh, that's going to score particularly highly. I, I, I felt it was a little repetitive, to say the least. And uh, I think he, towards the end, he just lost it. It was a shame that uh, for Martin, there aren't many men doing uh, this heel work to music, so I was hopeful that uh, he might, might manage a really good performance. But I don't think he excelled there. It's easy for me sitting up here to say that I couldn't do this to save my life. And uh, Dash and uh, Martin made a reasonable fist of it, but I don't think it quite worked today. I don't think the music was either well chosen or necessarily well played in here in the, in the ring. If that's what it was supposed to sound like, then it baffled me. It's quite amazing.
amazing, just like agility within the, the UK. So the scores are coming through. Let's see what we get. A uh, nice finish there. From Australia and New Zealand and, and, and other countries through the world, and they, in actual fact, compete in Hillwood's music in their own countries. And, and tomorrow in the international, we, of course, have got the... Um, so here come the scores and see where we go. competing, the farthest travellers from Japan. Oh, right, let's see right. Eight six is a good there. score. It's not too bad at all. Content. Accuracy down a bit on the accuracy, but uh, not hugely so. I think probably I've been a, a, a bit harsh in my comments. Well, we've gone into third place with that. And they should be proud of that on the first video. So well done to uh, Martin Briggs and, and Dash. Gone into third place. Today, and for a lovely piece of great the first three. Diane the full name of the job The spirit of the hawk by Red X. Again, their first time competing at Crofts.
great routine for a lovely outfit as well. Uh, and how great is that to see the German Shepherd? And very popular with the crowd, that performance. Nice to see uh, German Shepherd working there. You don't often see black German Shepherds, but uh, uh, to see a German Shepherd working in uh, obedience is... Uh, Always nice to see, and to see one here in heel, to, heel watching music was always, always a joy. I thought it was a terrific performance. Um, I don't know what the judges will make of it in terms of uh, the variety of content uh, that you managed to get into there, Naomi. But uh, the dog did remarkably well in the heel work positions, was very close, very accurate. So I expect quite a good score here. Naomi Bagley and Jacobrad's Sunday Girl. I've got to say, the arena is pretty full here on the second day, on this Friday. It's, uh, <laughs> It really does attract the crowds, the heel work to music, both the freestyle yesterday was, uh, was very well attended, and now this is the, the slightly more serious one, the, uh, the heel work to music, and the scores should be just about coming in the moment. I think the judge has a bit of difficulty sorting this out. I'm not sure what they're making. But. We still have Lucy Creek in the lead. She won the freestyle yesterday and she's in the lead here. She was the second uh, performer and uh, with a score of 26.73 as a total. So that's the score to beat. So what's Naomi Bagley and Sunday Girl done? Good, already. This will be higher, I think. Oh, just a little bit higher. There we are, 8.37. That's a good, good content score. Accuracy is good as well. Heading towards third or fourth position, I think, with this at the moment. Maybe a little bit better than that. Mm, that's a good score for the interpretation, but no nines in there. So I think, I think we're looking at second or third. There we are, third position, 24.97. Good performance, Naomi. Well done.
shouldn't be accepted. Well done, Caroline. Well, I thought that was really beautiful. A lovely piece of music, obviously, from Swan Lake, but uh, Caroline Garris and Wild Chief Phoenix of Fire. Great choice of music, and I think that it was performed, I mean, I thought Caroline performed it beautifully, and of course, Phoenix picked up on the lyric of it. It was, it was lyrically danced, it was beautifully performed, and I think very accurate indeed. I'll be, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push that uh, this could well go into the lead. It'll be close. In my opinion, it deserves to be, but uh, who am I to say? The interpretation of the music was, was delightful. There seemed to be a lot of variety. The scores have gone in, I think. Now let's see what the judges have made of this. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. This, I said I thought it would go into the lead. I think it will. The accuracy, this is the one that'll, yes, uh, th no question, no question, they're there. Oh, what a terrific performance, my word, should be proud of this. And look at the interpretation, these are big scores, that is a terrific score. Oh, no question, straight into the lead. There we are. More than half a point ahead of uh, Lucy Creek as Caroline Garrett goes into the lead with Phoenix. What a performance. But there's still a couple of dogs to go, so obviously they'll be hoping to beat that. We might see something better. Here we have Kay Lawrence with time. It's a working sheep dog, seven years old, full name in Janabakam, Light Merlo. That performance to a trap called Flair and Atlas by Tom.
Uh, a very understated performance there from Kay Lawrence. Um, Kay's done a terrific... Uh, there was a gradual build, some very subtle changes in that, and gradual build in the speed that they performed. Uh, I've known Kay for many years. She was the judge here a few years ago in this event. She's very experienced. In fact, uh, she worked as a judge on a program called The Underdog with me a few years ago. And... Uh, very dedicated to the whole sport of heel work to music. So well done, Kay. There's some very subtle changes there, and the, the speed changes were beautifully done. Don't think they'll go into the lead by any means, but uh, I think they'll get a good score. Just collecting the scores from the judges now. Haven't got them all yet. I've got to say, I think the judges have done remarkably well on uh, this competition today. Very consistent in the scores that they've given. Let's see how we come out with Kay Lawrence and Janabakav Light Merlo. Uh, that's a good score for content, which I'm not surprised at. Not top score, but a good score. Very neat on the accuracy and very consistent. Oh, there's a nine in there. Well done. Well, I said they get a good score, and I think they are doing. Yes, nothing to grumble about with those scores at all. Put them in a, somewhere about third or fourth. There we are, fourth. 25.3. Yes, well done, Kay. This has been quite a competition. We've seen a great variety of very good heel work to music uh, in this competition. Mind we should. This is Cruft, after all. Lucy, over to you.
well, that got the crowd uh, cheerful and uh, happy. Very entertaining performance. Um, lots of very interesting things in there. Uh, so Lucy Heath and Stillmore Winter Sun have made their ploy. I don't think they'll, they'll get into the lead with that performance, but it was a very interesting performance and it pleases the audience here immensely. And this is a very big audience. You know, if any of these performers have been nervous, it really hasn't shown. So this is the last performance of the competition. We've seen them all, all 10. Some extraordinarily good performances and some very good scores. At the moment, Caroline Garrett in the lead. There, 27.37 is her score. Lucy Heath here, where is she going to end up? Then she'll get extra points for the ears. I doubt it, actually. That was a great finish, wasn't it? Look at that. Absolutely terrific. Well done. So here we go with the final scores. They're going to come through, and we'll see whether anyone can uproot Caroline from her position. Well, she's got a nine in there. It was a good performance. It's a big score. It is going to be close. And another nine. Oh, I say, this is tight. And no nines in this. It's not going to take the lead, but it is going to be close. Oh, there is a nine. Don't think it's there into the lead. Not quite. <laughs> so how are we doing? There's another nine in there. You see that's gone in, which uh, has just changed. And there are some deductions there. Third position. The deductions were for the odd bark and little bits of uh, exuberance, I guess, that shouldn't have been there. So third place for them. But I think you've seen a very good heel work to music competition here this year. And the judges have done a tremendous job for us. So we get ready now for the presentation. So here we have confirmation of the results of that competition. Wild Sea Phoenix of Fire with Caroline Gannett. That splendid performance to Swan Lake, 27.37 points. And Harriet Skiffle King, Skiffle with Lucy Creek, yesterday's winner of the freestyle, only makes second place today with a terrific performance, 26.73. In third place, you've just seen still more Winter Heath there uh, with uh, Lucy Heath, 26. Point one seven. So there you are, you can read it for yourselves, you can see what the result is. But what a terrific performance, and the dogs will be coming into the arena in just a moment for the final presentation. Great start to the afternoon's events here in the main arena, the Genting Arena here at the NEC in Birmingham in the UK. Wherever you're watching in the world, I hope you're going to have a marvellous time enjoying dropping in to see what YouTube has on offer. We're live on YouTube every day throughout this great competition at Crafts right the way through until Sunday evening. And, uh, well, what better way to watch the programme than to see it on YouTube. Dave Ray announces in the ring it's presentation time and here come the first three led in by Caroline Garrett Lucy Creek there in second and Lucy Heath in third the two Lucys second and third but Caroline Garrett takes the lead Yes, well done, Caroline. Terrific performance, very elegant, very beautiful performance, very lyrical, interpreting the music beautifully, 
and I don't think anyone would grumble at that being the winning performance of the day. And Lucy Creek there takes second place. And Lucy Heath in third with that final performance of the competition. Very satisfactory result, well done to all three of them. So as I say, that sets off our day, that's uh, the afternoon programme well underway. Now we continue with the Rescue Dog Agility competition in just a moment. So a very beautiful performance by Caroline Garrett leading the way out of the ring again. Well done indeed, she'll be very proud of that. And our wonderful ring crew will be coming into the ring now to set the course for the Rescue Dog Agility Competition, which is going to be the next thing up. 